In this video, we're going to look at uh, taking cubed roots. Uh, you can tell it's a cubed root because there's a little mini three up on the top there. When we're looking for a cubed root, remember that cubing something is, or, or taking something to the third power is multiplying something by itself three times. So for example, if you have a to the third power, that means a times a times a. So if you take the cubed root of something, we're looking for what number could you multiply by itself three times to come up with um, the number that's inside. So for example, if you think of the number 27, 27 is three times three times three. So the cubed root of 27 is just plain old three. And just like when we did uh, square roots, and this is true of any radical, as soon as you figure out what number multiplies by itself the appropriate number of times, we write it outside and then that radical is completely gone as part of my answer. Now, just like simplifying with square roots, um, when we simplify with cubed roots, we want, or when we have things with cubed roots, we want to make sure that they're completely simplified. That is, we want to make sure that there are no perfect cubes this time that are hidden inside of the value in the square root. Now, how we do that is actually very similar to what we did with square roots. Um, and the easiest way to guarantee that you find all the factors that you need is to go and actually find um, the prime factors. So, for example, if we think of 16, 16 is 4 times 4. 4 can get broken down into 2 times 2 here and 2 times 2 here. So when I look at this particular problem, when I am trying to find something with a cubed root that I want to simplify, what I'd like to do is I'd like to break it down into its factors. This time, I'm looking for triple factors for the cubed root. And then any leftovers will go into the second piece here. So breaking things down this way and then this uh, cubed root uh, that we get by taking all of the triple factors will work out perfectly. So let's see how that would work here. In this case I have a group of three twos. So when I go to break this uh, cubed root of 16 down, I can break it down into the cubed root of 8, 2 times 2 times 2, and then I have one leftover 2 that wasn't able to be part of that group. So as I do that, the cubed root of 8 is something I can actually do. The cubed root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 gives me 8. And then I had one leftover 2 that wasn't a perfect cube. So I just incorporate that just like that. And this is my most simplified form of the cubed root. This will work, again, with really big values. Uh, it doesn't matter. All that we want to do every time is start with our number, find its prime factors, and then see if there's any triplets when we're looking for cubed roots. In this particular example, notice it ends in a 2. Uh, so it's, since it's even, uh, I can find a, uh, how many times 2 goes into it. So uh, 2 goes into 432, 216 times. Uh, it's even again, so I can find another 2 there to break out. Uh, that goes into this 108, 108 times. That's also even. 2 goes into that. 54 times. 54 is 9 times 6. 9 is 3 times 3. 6 is 2 times 3. And now I've got this, 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 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3. So when I look at this particular set of values, notice that I have a trio of 3's and I also have a trio of 2's. So that's really neat. So when I come up here to the cubed root of 432, I'm going to put all my triples in 1. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if I multiply all that together, I get 216. And then I had one left over 2 that wasn't a perfect triple. Then I, by design, this cubed root of 216 should be a perfect cube. We had a cube of 2's and a cube cube of threes, and so that will end up being six. So if you do six times six times six, you get 216. And then I have the cubed root of two as my leftover. And so that would be the most simplified form of the cubed root of 432. We can do the same thing over here with the cubed root of 108. If we look at this one, uh, 108 is even. It's two times 54. 54 is 9 times 6. Oh, we kind of saw some of this a little bit before. 9 is 3 times 3, and 6 is 2 times 3. I'm looking for any groups of 3. I have a group of three threes, and then I have two twos. That's not enough. 
So when I do my breakdown, the three threes give me the cubed root of 27, and then the two twos are left over in the second group. So I have the cubed root of 27, here I'll kind of break this off here so you can see it better. Cubed root of 27 is just plain old three, and then I have the cubed root of four that won't simplify any farther. And so that would be my final solution for that problem there for number 12.